All right, um, section one, car electrical equipment, 121, American Association of American Railroads Electrical um, Division. Um, part two, electrical light for lead acid storage batteries. Electrical light furnished for the use of lead acid storage batteries shall be water clear, free of a sediment of any kind. It shall test at 0 0.5, 10 thousandths of above, below, or specified gravity at temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Electrical... Light shall be free of impurities within the limits herein with specified 100% with the concentrated sulfuric acids at 1.835, specific gravity of 177 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, your, you have plutonium, iron, iron, chlorine, ammonia, nitrogen oxide, copper, arsenic, acetic, sulfuric acid, selenium, magnesium, zinc, and tone, and anatomy, and organic matter, and fixed rev, residue. You have your chemical symbols and your percent eligible vitrol. The electric light may be inspected and tested at the plant manufacturing if the purchaser so specifies the manufacturer to supply the necessary apparatus labor for making the test under the supervision of the purchaser. If the electrolyte has been accepted at the plant, the manufacturing test may be made upon arrival of the destination. If it does not meet the requirements here and set forth, it may be required rejected material. Manufacturers will pay all freight charge, char charges. I guess 66 is blank. Part 3, Battery Connectors. All lead acid batteries over 450 ampere capacity should be supplied with solid lead alloy connectors with copper inserts with intercell connections. Battery less than 450 ampere, ca ampere capacity must be applied either with wire or solid connectors. Intercell connectors should be preferably um, be burned on lead cell po post. All intercellular connectors should be um, of corrosion resistant type with low joint, low joint resistant ample current carrying capacity to keep it down losses. For intertray connectors, the three sizes of cables in accordance with the Association of American Railroad specification number 580 are recommended or listed below. Minimal cable requirements for an intertray connectors, capa um, amperes and power acidity. Ampere capa pa capacity up to 450. Cable size number two, 451 to 850 ampere hours. Number zero, number double zero gauge, 850, 851 and up, four zero gauge. For lead acid terminals, intertray connectors should be preferable with a copper tube with a heavily located with a castor lead alloy wire seal terminal prevent corrosion due to the acid entering entering the terminal. Um, five lead covered non acid resisting bolts should be used to connect the terminals to the battery post. Single pole old terminals should be used with batteries up to including 450 ampere hours to cell capacity. Two bolt terminals should be used with the batteries of 451 ampere hours and over. All right, six battery terminal bolts should not should be five sixteenths of an inch in diameter with 18 threads to to the to the inch. Part four battery boxes. Um, boxes supporting members shall all encase the most of the requirements. The latest issue of the Association of American Railroads Railroad Standard Clearance Diagrams, Section 13 Electrical Manual, including those in the third rail, rail territory. Um, battery boxes shall confirm the following outline drawing in Figure Figure 1. And you see the battery box. Number of boxes required and battery voltage, battery capacity of an hour, the minimum inside diameter and di di design weight per box. So you have A, B, and C. The design of the battery, um, the better. The design of the battery box should be such that it is necessity to have additional angle irons, other shape support, extending longitude under the battery box to support the bottom. The door of the bo box shall be split type, the top of the section being arranged with an independently lower section to permit access without open full door. The top of the shell, uh, section shall approximately be 10 inches to expose the top of the portion of the cell of the permit servicing the battery without pulling out the trays of the box. The section shall be hinged to the lower section only so the entire door can be opened and installing the removal of the battery. The whole door shall be removable. Separate means shall be provided to fastening each of the door section independently of the other such fastening to be a able, ample strength of type which will ensure and against the opening accidents under the serv ser service conditions. Um...
Five non-metallic buffer strips, if used, shall be secured fast fastened with no protruding screws, bolts, or inside the door of the door to both ends of the back of the bo bo battery box at the height of the buffer of the battery trays. If two or more of the boxes are used, the battery trays are connected with the series. The adequate capacity shall be provided between each of the tray group to the avoid excess voltage drop. 7. If two or more boxes are used, the battery trays are connected with the parallel, parallel adequate wire capacity should provide with the twin connection of the common line, connections of the tray groups connected with the parallel to the ex ex equalizable, equalize the voltage drop, ensure, ensure the uniform charging and discharging of the parallel groups, avoiding unbalanced conditions. 8. A junction box may be placed on each end of the battery box card, conducting the wire battery ending with the connector shall be terminated in this box. The battery connector shall be fitted with the proper te terminal to the connect the air car wiring. The ba battery should leave from the battery box through the suitable strain relief with the pushing, pre pushing preventing with acid fumes from entering the junction of the box or conduity. If it is desired to install the battery fuse, the junction box should be large enough to house the fuse, blo the fuse blocks. 9. Ba based on battery box, 47.5 inches long with a containing lead acid type of the battery's ventilation consists of opening at the end of the box, closing at the positive top of the box, and total free opening at least 100 square inches or 10 inch by 5 inches opening at each end. Covered with a metal screen and the grating of a quarter inch at mesh, openings in such a position are subject to spray. The car washer shall be provided with a protective hood which will not restrict the amount of free opening. In the ventilation opening shall be instructed with a decreased proportional length of the box, increased or decreased. Then the bottom of the box shall consist of an open metal grate, which is not in itself acid resistant. It should be coated with the acid resistant material. The box and back of the box um, may have an open open metal grating for the furnishing adequate ventilation. All corners of the crevices installed with the box should be filled with epoxy type sealing compound. Other material has similar characteristics. The epoxy is sloped to prevent the deposit of acid, dirt, water, in which to reduce the battery box corrosion. Twelve batteries other than lead acid type may require less ventilation, particularly with cold climates. In such ba cases, battery manufacturer's recommendations should be followed. Part 5. Battery Charging Receptacles Each car is equipped with a battery shall be provided with a two-battery engine receptacle with the two capacity recommended at one of 100 amperes and one of 150 amperes. The receptacle was over the individual car should be determined by the cha charging rate of the battery installed by the car. 2. The limiting dimensions of the receptacle should be in accordance with figure 1 of the 100 amperes type and in accordance with figure 2 of the 150 amperes type. Receptacles shall be provided with the swivel and universal supports for the mounting brackets to be located on the car. Both 100 amper and 150 amper receptacles should be designed so that they may they be interchanged in the mounting bracket. Three, the future installation of new equipment and so forth as practicable for the new renewals, only 150 amper capacity receptacles should be used. Four, the charging of the receptacles should be installed on one each side of the car so located with the reference of the side sill that when the cover is open it will not project beyond the side of the car. Five, the outer contact ring should be contacted with positive wire with the battery circuit with the ring should be slotted to provide flexible contact with the plug inserted with the receptacles. Six, the center contact ring shall contact with negative wire of the battery circuit. It shall be slotted with the provided with flexible contact with the center positive of the plug with ample contact surface to carry the rated current current. Seven, the both practical receptacles shall be designed with recommended 150 amperes may be used with either ample contact surface provided with the carry of the full capacity with the receptacle overheating. Eight, means of provided with the making of the covers of the stuff closing scale seal tight to prevent the enhanced entrance of water and dirt. 9. The receptacles must shall be furnished with suitable strain of the release bushings. Avoid strain on terminals connections to seat the rear end of the housing. 10. The mounting bracket shall be able to strengthen and reconstruct it to permit easy removal installation receptacle housing. The front of the end of the receptacle housing shall extend beyond the end of the contact point sufficiently to make it certain that the plug of the receptacle contacts are properly aligned to avoid distorting the contacts, also preventing positive improper insertion of the plug possible possibility of short circuiting the contacts or other receptacle pl or plug all right figure 100 amper total type charge receptacle the center is the negative 150 types um, charging receptacle the center is the negative Part 6. Battery Charging Plugs. Battery Charging Plugs should be designed in accordance with figures 1 and 2 shall fit either of the recommended receptacles plug contacts that should engage those of the receptacles sufficient tension to ensure the good contact and avoid injurious heating. 
Um, the contact ring of the plug shall be connected with a positive wire charging. The cable should not be slided if the shell be insulated with a certain surface. The exposed end insulation shall extend over the ring end sufficiently to prevent an accidental short circuiting between the ring and the center of the contact of the receptacle at any time. Three, the center contact post of the shell be connected with a negative wire of the charging cable. This position should be preferably in a renewable tip. The center contact of the plug shall make the contact last and break for first when the plug is inserted or removed. Plug housing, whether made bakelite, rubber, or other insulating materials, should be arranged to provide the tight, capable grip to the avoid strain and terminal connections. Six interior interior connection arrangements shall be of such to provide with the mechani mechanical structure strong connections and salting barriers to prevent short circuiting event and the wire breaking loosening at the connections that supporting the ring back of the contact shall be proportioned to fit snugly into the receptacles housing and, and extensions to relieve contact members of any excess and strain. 7. For future installations and so far practical renewals, only 150 ampere capacity plugs shall be used. Figure 1 shows the ampere, 100 ampere charging plug centers the contact um, charging and 150 ampere charging plug on the center of the contact negative plug. Part 7. Batteries of an internal combustion engine used on passenger trains. The storage battery of a 36 to 64 volt, which is provided with the starting internal combustion engine, also shall also be used in the emergency lighting control circuits. Part A. Packaging and storing batteries for shipment. In order to prevent damage to the storage battery and shipment, the typical method of med packing as sh shown in Figure 1, 2, and 3 is for four cell trays or 25 plate storage plate battery. The dimension may be char changed to suit the various sizes of the batteries. This shows a carton double wall, 275 pounds, configure corrosion. A saddle double wall with 275 pounds corrosion. And the end fillers double walls at 200 pounds. Assembly of a cardboard end filler saddle and carton for each battery tray. Figure one. Figure two shows a wood pallet. Um, figure three shows the assembled unit. Um, steel strap applied uh, applied acid caution label stat sample band stencil. Um, number five corner iron for each. Um, this way down in it's uh, buckled up iron. Chapter two axle generator equipment and specification for axle generator equipment.